you of, of your father, the devil. Yeah. I'm a monkey from the African savanna. You're not. You're not. You're a man in Hartlepool who's opposed to God and opposed to the gospel. Jesus Christ, that no matter what happens... Your God wants kids to die. No, he wants and them to live. He sends out God's people to cause out a holy disruption to darkness. I'm after one of them. The gentleman's chair. For my, uh, for my library. For your library. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, do a collection. Sure. So that's great for uh, If you would like to donate <laughs> to uh, Wesley's cause of getting a gentleman's chair for his library, please yeah. do. Um, so I can follow, study the word of God more. you can study the word of God more. Oh, that's the state of me. That's the state of you. <laughs> right, um, I'm not much better. Right, um, so we're about to leave Hartlepool. And I'll be honest, when we first got here, we thought it was going to be... Um, dead, absolutely rubbish. Little faith. Um, Wes? I, I, I'll be honest as well. I, I thought, oh, we've dropped it here this week. Like, I thought this was a waste of time. It just seemed dead. Nobody was going to be there. Yeah. Walking um, them down the streets, nobody there. Yeah. The only spot that was apparently any good was taken by the JWs and some mayor, mayor of a yeah. town or something like that. But what happened? It came from a moment because I even said, no, you go first. Yeah. That was, I was not, I had no faith. I, I just thought it was just going to be a dead day, but. But it wasn't. No. So um, it started nice, which you'll see, but then all hell broke loose, literally. Anyway, we're not going to go on too long, but it's been a real blessed time. Thank you to everybody who's prayed for us, who supported us in this work. We really, really do cover your prayers. The gates of hell will not prevail against the church. Amen. Amen. God bless you. What's happening, Yari? God bless you. God bless you. Well, that's a nice start, isn't it? And you too, brother. That's a nice start, isn't it? Praise the Lord. We've come down here to Hartlepool, expecting nobody to say hello, expecting nobody to say a thing. But since we've been here, we've had nothing but love and support. Sometimes you go to places, brother, especially Newcastle, and you'll start to share the gospel, much like we're going to do now. And people will stand there and they will say, you're disturbing the peace. You're a menace to society. Have you got permission to be here? But Hartlepool, when you come in the name of Jesus Christ, when you come with the message of the gospel, you don't require permission for the Great Commission. See, Jesus Christ has sent out his people. So to those who would say you're a menace to society, you are disturbing the peace. Who sent you? Hartlepool, the truth is, actually, we need our peace disturbed. We need a holy shake-up. We need to be a menace. If Jesus Christ was to just leave you in your situation, if Jesus Christ was to just leave us, it would not be good news at all. See, the Bible tells us by default, we are not in a good place. You may well walk around here in this Hartlepool High Street thinking I'm perfectly fine. What brings you down here? Well, the Bible tells us that we must go to the highways and to the, by the byways and proclaim the good news, brother. And the reason that Jesus Christ sends out his people, who's you waking from their slumber, is to come and shake you up where you are because he loves you too much, mate, not to do that. He does. And that's why we're here, because Jesus Christ loves Hartlepool too much to leave you where you are. Because the truth is, Hartlepool, like God has always sent his people, you know, all throughout history, God has always sent his people to different places with the same message. And the message that God sent his prophets with was to repent. To repent. Turn from your wicked ways and turn to Christ. Turn from darkness and come to light. Turn from death and come to life. Turn from the ways of this world which are orchestrated by the ones of this world. God bless you, boys. You can hear all five seconds of us. Turn from this way and go to his way. What's happening, brother? Are you all right? Turn from going your way and follow Yahweh. And guys, I want to tell you this, that many ways seem right to a man, 
God bless you, boys. God bless you. Many ways seem right to a man, but it's God that knows what is good for you. See, back in the day, I never thought that God knew what was good for me. I thought I knew what was good for me. And bro, it doesn't end up well for you, does it? You need to see the light that Jesus Christ is the light. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. That nobody comes to the Father except through me. See, what I was trying to do, you can put the window up and you can leave it down. See, this is a perfect picture. You can put the window up and cut Jesus Christ out. Or you can put it down, brother. What's it going to be? See, there's two ways. We can continue going our way. Or we can repent and turn to Christ. See, Jesus Christ sends out God's people to cause out a holy disruption to darkness. See, when you look at the book of Exodus, you see that Moses was sent to Pharaoh to be a menace. He just kept calling him, let my people go. God has sent Moses to say, let my people go. And Pharaoh's heart was hard and he wouldn't. Time after time, day after day, Moses was saying, look, God is saying, let his people go. He was a menace to Pharaoh until finally he said yes. We read that John the Baptist was a menace to unrighteousness. He was a menace to King Herod. He called out his sexual immorality. Granted it cost John the Baptist his life but righteousness will call out unrighteousness. And then you look to the prophet Elijah. One of my favourites. Does it make sense? All nonsense? Evolution. 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 Tell me all about evolution. Richard Dawkins. Richard Dawkins. Yeah, what about him? He's the man. He's the man. Yeah. Did he? Did Richard Dawkins create you? Did Richard Dawkins give you life and give no. you breath now? You know who created me? Who did? An asteroid with water come to the earth and, and made life. You're saying an asteroid with water in it created yeah. you? Yeah. And me? Life, yeah. But look at you. Look how intricate you are. Look how different you are. Evolution through monkeys. Through monkeys. You might be a monkey, but I'm not. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God. That's what the Bible tells us. Do you know the gospel? Of course I do. Do you? It's tell us the gospel, rubbish. mate. It's all rubbish. It's rubbish. Just tell us the gospel so at least you know what you're disagreeing with. What's the gospel? An asteroid comes down with water on right. That's not the gospel. Being in life, yeah, because more I'll tell you that you're brainwashed. Okay, I need, can I tell oh, you something? How many gods is there then? There's only one. God of fire. No, oh just one. God. Just one. What about Ali? False God. There you go then. Well, I can ask you, you you've got a God. I have. You came up to me and stared as dead in the face like this and you said, Richard Dawkins. Now let me tell you why Richard Dawkins is your God. Because you believe every word that that man says. You believe by faith because you weren't there that an asteroid with water on it. Um, Charles yeah, Darwin. Darwin. Yeah, him as well. He's another God. So an asteroid came down here with water on it. And what did it look like when you there? How do you know it was true? You have more faith than me. I say that we stand all around this, and I would say it was created. Because nothing and nothing equals nothing. So what I'm saying to you is that in the beginning was God, right? You're saying in the beginning was an asteroid that with water on it, and it came down here and up pops and and Hartlepool and all that sort of stuff. I'm saying to you is, you walked up to me and you said Richard Dawkins, and then you said Charles Darwin, but I'm saying, what was it like in the beginning when the asteroid with water on it came? You said, I don't know because you weren't there. So you live what you're saying by you faith. There, you weren't there when by faith. So there? don't play the hypocrite, mate. Were you there when God created it? No, but Jesus was. Because it says he's the Alpha and the Omega. But can I tell you this before you go? The story. Okay, well this story I'm telling you is the greatest news in the world, right? Now what you have to do is... It's just a book. It is. It's, a, it's the most wonderful book. Can I tell you what this book says? Yeah. Greenwash, yeah. Look, do you want to read it or do you want me to read it for you? You read it. I'll read it. Well, then, it says here, yeah, right? Anyway. So whatever I say to you, it's not going to make any difference. Someone wrote that years ago. A book. Yeah? I'll write one now. Yeah? In 2000, yeah. Someone might believe it. So, are you doing Ricky Gervais now, are you? So we're going through all of the stuff. This is what they do, you know. Athens go through Dawkins, and then we'll go through Darwin, and then we'll go to Ricky Gervais, and probably next is going to be Stephen Fry. But what I'm going to say to you is, it doesn't matter, because really, the message of the gospel sounds like foolishness 
which is what you've said, to those who are headed to destruction. He's God a man. God is God. He says God is a spirit. However, his I'm answering you, mate. His attributes say that God is like a father. God showed himself in the form of Jesus Christ, who was most certainly a man. And do you know what happens is people laugh and they mock. Okay. 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 So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tell you this. It says, A God so loved the world that he gave us one and only son, that whoever believes upon him shall not perish, but will have everlasting life. But the condemnation is this. They have not believed upon him. So therefore, they will die in their sins. If you believe this or not, mate, I don't get any pleasure from saying this, that you, like everybody else here, has dropped the ball. You're not perfect, you've sinned. And your conscience, which is a God-given alarm, has told you that you have. So why you walk up and down here shaking your head and angry about it is because you know you have. And you can't fix it. Okay, what you can do is, I'm brainwashed, but I want to tell you something. I needed my brainwashing. I needed it washing, and you need yours washing. But you don't you, okay. wash your way. Okay, but you know what you've got? You've got two feet. Yeah. You've got that way, and you've got that way, and you can go. What comes from the monkey? <laughs> okay, well, why don't you swing all the way down there? Yes. All right, right. Look, I'm on I love you too much, mate, to, to agree that you come from a monkey. Now, what can happen here is Satan can send his people to stop the message being put. Uh oh, why can't I mention Satan? I don't want to know him. Let me tell you about Satan. Don't dare cuss God out if you're not going to hear about Satan because he's the father of lies. Look, you don't like that, do you? You know, who, you know what the Jesus Christ says? The Son of Man was made manifest to destroy the works of the evil one. So when we talk about Satan, we talk about his position. And he's un no, I'm not the evil one. I'm pointing to the one who's good, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the one who's victorious over the things of the devil. See, Jesus Christ was made manifest to destroy the work of the evil one. Let me ask you, do you know him? Do you know the devil? Do you know the devil? Do you know the devil? Do you know that? Because it seems that finally it's coming out the woodwork here in Hartlepool. Finally it's coming out the woodwork because the devil does not want to be exposed. You come here and you are mocking me, mocking the Bible, saying God doesn't exist. But when I mention Satan, things get scary, don't they? Why? Why? There's only one, one name who the demons know and tremble at, and it's the name of Jesus Christ. And that's who we come to preach today. The name of Jesus, the name above all other names. So I'm asking you today, what are you going to do with it? A storyteller. Jesus Christ was a storyteller. Let me, tell me about this devil. Please don't, please don't. Let me tell you, why? Tell me about the devil. You're in hell if you do. No, no, let me tell you this. That all who left follow Satan, side, right? all who follow Satan will go to hell with him. So if you are mocking God, if you have set yourself against God, who do you follow? Because he's the father of lies. The Bible says that you are of your father, the devil. Yeah, I'm a monkey from the African savannah. You're not. I you're am. not. You're a man in Hartlepool who's opposed to God and opposed to the gospel and who doesn't like the name of Satan but it's not the name of Satan you don't want to be afraid of it's the name of Jesus Christ because it is him you're going to give an account to the Bible says that every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord Jesus Christ a storyteller okay That's let me tell you this one of the most sobering things that will ever happen to you is that you will stand before him you will stand before him no I won't you will when you I die you just die. You know what's going to happen? Can I tell you? I'll you be honest with you. Else. When you die, if you were to die today, and my prayer is that you don't, yeah. and you die in your sin, yeah, and you die in your mockery, you will go to hell. No. But we're here today so yeah, that you may have life. No there is no hell. You may, well, have life if there's you no repent no and believe upon Jesus. And that no is our heaven. heart for you. No so there's will no you hell. repent and will you believe upon Jesus? No. No. Because it's a daft storyteller. Okay, okay man. Well, let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to preach to these people here. Because sometimes the devil sends a heckler, right? I'm not a heckler. But Jesus Christ will use what the devil intended for harm, for good. So, Hartlepool, where will you go? Will you go with who claims that there is no God? That heaven and hell doesn't exist? That he came from a monkey? It doesn't. Or will we look at the bigger picture? Will we look at our heart? Will we see the condition of things? In this, and you as well, you can get as anybody. The gospel is the good news of Jesus Christ. That no matter what happens, no matter where you are in life, when you come to Christ, when you come to him, 
when you fall upon the mercies of God, which you all need, you shall be saved. Because what Jesus did for you, he says, whilst you were sinning, so whilst you were at the bus stop mocking and screaming and shouting, whilst you were calling out that there's no God, that God saw you in your sin, he saw you in your darkness, in your suffering, in your pain, but yet because of his great kindness and mercy, catch this, kindness and mercy, love and truth. He knew that we can't save ourselves, brother. So what he did was he came down in our place. I couldn't save myself. These guys can't save themselves. You can't save yourself. So what did Jesus do? Did he ask you to be better, to try harder? Is that what he did? No. What Jesus did is that he gave his life for you at the cross. So that if you would repent and believe, if you would turn to him. Have you gone last year? I haven't gone last year, but I've got the gospel. Do you want that? Nah, no. The gospel. I'm preaching the gospel. See, some people are so carnally minded that they'd rather have an ashtray than the gospel. The Bible tells us that do not cast your pearls to swipe. So what that means is I could give you and I am giving you the best news. But actually you're trying to be funny and asking for an ashtray. But I'm preaching Christ and Christ crucified. The Bible always says yes. it's freedom of speech and whatever. Yes, you know? yeah, you can speak, man. So, so you can speak. But can I just finish the message and we'll talk? Hmm? Why, what? So what I'm saying is, I'm just what I'm saying. Okay, so what we're saying is, Jesus Christ. Two thousand years ago. Wasn't he that long ago? Well, it's a long time ago. Two thousand years ago. And okay, so. Then what happened to him? He, he preached yeah. what he wanted to preach. Well, he right? preached the truth, mate, and the, the Bible uh, says. What, what happened to him? What happened to him? You know, even if you do that, it doesn't really matter. You know, God loves you, but you must turn to Him and believe the gospel. See, it doesn't matter if you outward display of rebellion. Jesus Christ died for Satanist LGBT as well. Your God wants kids to die. No, he wants and them to live. No, he wants them to live. God bless you, brother. See, Harley Pool, it started so well. It started so well, mate. But let's never, ever get tired of preaching this gospel. And the gospel message is this. If you're a young lesbian, completely confused about who you are, if you're an angry atheist who claims he's a monkey, who's terrified of the name of Satan, if it's somebody who's grieving and broken over losing somebody, or if you're just indifferent listening to the message of the gospel, I would say to you this, that in this world there's much confusion. Yes, there's pain, yes, there's suffering, but the problem that we have is sin, and we love it. And the gospel comes down to different cities, different villages, different countries and it disturbs your peace it awakes you in your slumber the bible says awake or sleeper and jesus christ comes down to meet you in your sin and the word of god is sharp cutting through to the human heart and it exposes your sin and when your sin is exposed and you realize just how deep and dark it is in the sight of a holy god the only thing that you can do is fall upon the mercies of him and hearty pool god is merciful and he's kind and he's good but this God is righteous and he must punish sin and we don't come down here to, to, to get any great pleasure about talking about hell but we come down here to tell you that you can know God that you can know Christ that you can know forgiveness and the good news is this that God so loved the world that he gave us one and only son for the gay person for the Satanist for the atheist, to the broken man, that whoever would believe upon him would not perish, but would have everlasting life. So Hartlepool, everlasting life is life with Christ. Everlasting life is peace, joy, happiness. Not on this side of eternity, because in this life you will have troubles, but take heart, because he has overcome the world. And the way that he overcame the world was at the cross, gentlemen. So who do you say that Jesus Christ is today? Hartlepool, is today the day that you repent? Is today the day that you believe? Is today the day that your peace in your slumber has been disturbed so that you can come to the Prince of Peace? Who is from Korea, please? It's bigger. I'm scared now. Because I have had looks of her visit me. Do you want to pray about it? Do you want to pray about it? Can we pray for you, brother? Can we pray for Please, you? Yeah. Yeah? 
the Bible says, right when I was asleep on the couch, and he went, I'm Lucifer. But you do that all the way. Like, what's the only one thing? What I'm saying is, you must call upon the Lord. Do it. Call upon Jesus and I'll see you deliver you. Lord, excuse me, guys. What do I say then? Go in. You've got to come out. What do I say? You need to confess Jesus with your mouth. Jesus. Jesus. I confess Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Just pull your heart out. I'm scared of the devil. I'm also, I know I've sinned against you. Sit. Tell me you've sinned against me. I'm sorry, I've sinned against you. I'm sorry. Sit. I need you as my Lord, as my I Savior. Need you, I need you, Wash Lord, me in your blood. You. I need you, please. Wash me in the blood. Wash me in the blood. Set me please. free. Set me free.